So another one of my friends made it to top eight, finishing sixth place at eight online regionals with over 500 players. And of course, the deck he topped with is no other than the most favorite deck of the format, which is Imperial. Hello Digimon players and fans, welcome back to another Digimon deck profile video. So if you guys remember, I actually covered the ultimate in-depth guide for Imperial not too long ago. In that video, I talked about the core build, special tech choices that you can add into your deck, and combos to teach you guys how to play. Now if you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend you to check it out first. First and foremost, my build was fairly standard, but my friend Dan's build would actually showcase some of the interesting text that I talked about from my own video, and you guys can get a whole different perspective from another player that did well at a large event. So my friend Dan Vaughn, not Dan Van, has joined the club of the top Imperial players board. It is really funny because their names are so similar, and we all know who Dan Van is too. We were also hyping it up during the tournament that they could have potentially faced against each other. Sadly, it didn't happen in the end because it would have been one of the coolest and craziest crossovers. They're both on the top player tables during that time too. Now, if you guys want to see more Digimon videos and content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell right now. Also, give this video a like because it greatly helps. But anyways, huge shoutouts to Dan for making 6th place once again and let's show you guys what he's got for us today. Alright guys, today we got our top 8 6th place Dan Vong, not Dan Vang who played the ultimate Imperial deck. And yo, man, Dan, congratulations, bro. How, how does it feel, man? I mean, it feels pretty good. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Like, you just, you just win the first game, and you just keep doing that until all of a sudden. Right. Going into round eight, you're undefeated snow. Mm -hmm. It feels pretty nice, no lie. All right, then. Do you, do you want to give any shout outs or any quick comments before we get into the deck profile? Uh, shout out to our friends, our teammates. Okay. Uh, for the play testing. Yeah. And Jackson Strong for going getting 15th as well. Nice, so nice. Uh, with yeah. <laughs> and then shout out to, honestly, shout out to Dan Bang. Dan Bang. And Primitive TTG for, the, for their text. To, uh, for my deck inspiration. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then. Let's get right into the deck profile. Okay. So, obviously, for the eggs, this is standard Imperial Demon stuff. We run four of this egg. Yep. Because it's really the best egg for this deck. Yep. You just always keep on a draw. Yep. You run this egg as a fifth egg. Yep. And whenever I flip this egg, I kind of feel bad because I'd rather have this egg. Yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. Like, I want a fifth egg just to get the draws off. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Okay. For the rookie, you play four of this demon. Yep. Uh, I used to I used to do a three and three split with the other BT8 demon. Right. I think uh, near the end, uh, uh, before the regionals, I was um, uh, what is it like? Uh, I was more uh, driven towards running this one instead because mm -hmm. you'd whip a lot with the B you could whip with BT8 one. Yeah. And all of a sudden you're just bottom decking stuff. You'd rather draw. Right. As opposed to this one, where really, like yeah, you search for one more card, but mm -hmm. and you could get a mega death. Right. But then, like your options are limited. Like you can't search any of the other yeah. champions that yeah. you rather have. Yeah, this one's always very consistent. You're always guaranteed yeah. to grab something, really. Yeah, I run three of this Vmon. Okay. So I know people like to run the BT2 Vmon. Yeah. For the mid to late game. Yeah. I prefer the early game. I, yep. I just want to see this. Yeah. I always want to see this opening hand go into it and then just keep drawing. Yeah. So you can draw two with Demi V yeah. with XV on top exactly. as well, right? And then near the mid to late game, like. If, if, the, if I draw into this, it doesn't really matter. Like, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. like, what's more important to me is being able to go early, fast and early with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I run three of this one. Yep. So before, I actually used to run four of this and two of this. Okay. And then, yeah, like I, like I said before, I'd rather have this early, but then yep. near the end, it was just near the middle late. Yeah. This would just not do anything. Yeah. So instead, I would have opted for more of this. Yeah. You could probably run four of this. Okay. I think most people would prefer four of this. Yeah. But it's just three is fine for me. Yeah. Gaining and memory is just so good. Memory right? gain is very, very good. Yeah. Especially with the Davis and Cannon all of a sudden. Yeah. And, the, and the, um, the DNA. Yeah. All of a sudden, you could just gain two memory. Yeah. And one chance. And that's. So I run two of this DT Demon. Yeah. 
as I said before, it's, it's pretty, it's all right. Yeah. And then it, it can lift, it lifts more than the other ones. Right. So that's why we cut this down to just two. Right. And then just to end this off, I went to this jamming beam one. Yep. I know people, like only, I know uh, primitive PCP only ran one, mm -hmm. and then Dan Bang ran three. So I'm just split in the middle with two. Okay. Um, what I ended up doing was sometimes if I had a, a sucky hand, yeah, I could just flip a demi V, go mm -hmm. into this, yeah, and then just take it out and swing for a free check, yeah, uh, and a draw, right, which is which is really mm -hmm. what I would like to see. Yeah. I, I just you just want to keep drawing and just mm -hmm. keep going off. Yeah, and it applies a little bit of pressure on your opponent in the early game too, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, like they have to, uh, now and there's a beam they have to deal with. Yeah. If they leave it alive, which sometimes they do, yeah. then I could just go just go into the combos next turn. Yeah, you chip twice, you set up for yeah. three, and you're basically almost lethal at that point. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Check. And then for the champion. Okay. We won four of this X beam on. Yep. And four of this thing. Where's your ultimate cup one? Huh? Where's my ultimate cup one? <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. <laughs> okay. So this is standard. Right? Yeah, pretty standard. You always yeah. want you always want to go over this yep. with a demi V A hopefully. Yeah. And maybe a draw demon and just swing. Yeah. Swing for the life saving and draw for all for all your cards. Draw two. That's the combo. Yeah. This one, you always want um and then this one, you just want a hard play. Yeah. So then you have three memory at least. Yeah. And then you just go into the combo wombo. Yep. Uh, sometimes even sometimes it's also fine to just hard play this out. Yeah. Like say your opponent says you to three, you can just play this out, token that one. Token that one's good. And yeah. Then with this amazing and all of a sudden up, you go in hand. Yeah. And then you just go in next turn and you still have more yeah. memory to deal with. It's so crazy how good this card is because you can basically pay either two, three, or four memory yeah. depending on the situation. Because if you have a rookie on board, you can digivolve it for two as well. Exactly. Right? Like sometimes I like I'm just I'm just uh, playing the rookie rest style because I can't draw into anything I need. Yeah. So all of a sudden, oh, I have rookie rest style. All I need is four memory or yeah. even two memory, and all of a sudden you got the combo wombo. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So this is this is standard. Like there's yep. no way you wouldn't run less travel break. Yep. Uh, we got three Lydramon. Yep. Lydramon's pretty sick. Yeah. Especially for the mirror matches. Yep. And and um and it also contributes to your Davis Ken memory games. Yeah. This is just a sick card. Mm -hmm. And then it's also not that bad swinging with it straight up. Yeah. Because even if you check something big, armor pitch, ar armor pitch is armor pitch. Yeah. Exactly. And then all of a sudden you still have, you still have a body. Yeah. And then you could probably go into another one. Like mm -hmm. you could, sometimes you could even you could even just cycle this. Like all of a sudden you have a bunch of Davis Kens out. Yeah. Swing with this, it dies, go into another one, tap. Yeah. Davis can restand this and just keep going like that. Oh, nice. like that's how I've won like a couple of games like that. Which is nice. so insane. Gotcha. And then I run this thanks to Premier. The one magna. The one magna. One magna. So the blocker. Like the whole point is like, especially in mirror matches yeah. or in Ricky Rush style like armor rush decks. Yeah. Like it's just who gets to go out faster. Yeah. Sometimes my opponent obviously might just go out faster than me. Yeah. And so obviously I want to just play this. Yeah. And then uh, and then all of a sudden, oh okay. Do you want to go? Now you have a block if you deal with. Quick quick question. Do you ever feel like you want to have a second one? Uh, no. Okay. I think one is okay. Okay. Like it's, one has worked out fine for me. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I just got lucky that I drew when I needed it. Right. Uh, like to be able to stop the XD mod swings for yeah. three chips. Mm -hmm. um, and because it's also seven at least, yeah. it also gets away the pale demon, which just makes it so much better. Yeah. Sure. Uh, other than, but other than that, mm -hmm. I don't think there's enough room for more. Yeah. I mean, maybe I could be wrong. Someone could play out more. Yeah. But then at that point, they might they might as well just start playing another deck style. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, and then finally, we just play one lobo. One lobo for game. I used to run two lobo just because I like doing lobo for game. Yeah. But then some like my. My top end was lower, so I need something has to get cut. Yeah, I just cut the one level. Yeah, and and there's so such tight space for level fours. If you yeah. jam in any more, you you're just gonna get get like lose consistency, right? Exactly. Gotcha. Um, and it's also sick that Lobo literally just goes on top of your teamers yeah. and then shuts up your combos too. Yeah, for so sure. So like instead of going for game, most of the time I would just go on top of my teamer. Yeah. Into this. Yeah. And then maybe play out a swing one or something, and then just go into the combo. Yeah. The swing. Like sometimes you just have to swing with an unjamming Hildra, uh, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it feels bad sometimes, but you, you gotta keep going, yeah. right? This is honestly this is the best card of the deck. MVP, right? MVP. <laughs> this does all your swings for you, and your bottom decks your opponents 
uh, Digimon. Yeah. Any problems you want to have? Like the Magna Andrews. Um, their, I don't know, their combo pieces. Yeah. Like such things, NXDs. Yeah. Like this is just such a good card. I don't like you. you if you're playing this deck, there's no reason why you shouldn't be running for it. Yeah, yeah. No less. A hundred percent. Because I don't know what else to say, but like, mm -hmm. this is just a really good yeah, card. Yeah, this is a really good card. Okay. For my champions, I used to run just two of this. Very interesting. And then I tried running two of this, and then I couldn't um, decide right. on, a, it's, um, on which one I'd like for more. Yeah. Because this one I like because you're able to search with both your Vmons. Yeah. And that's the whole point. Like, that's kind of the point with me. Like, I'd rather. I'd rather have my Vmons always be somewhat live and yeah. not whip. Yeah. And so that's why I, I like the two. Yeah. But the camera mod does set up some big combo plays for you. Right. Like you could just digivolve two blues or even two greens if you just whip like that. Right. Into this. Yeah. And all of a sudden you have so, one of your combo pieces in trash. Yeah. Put it under it. And if you go into your dragon mode, now you all of a sudden you have a fully decked out Pyotamon next time. All right. Gotcha. Uh, and it also, the DP reduction does come in, mm -hmm. and just to get over their, their, I don't know, their armor rushes, their mm -hmm. blockers, their combo pieces. Because mm -hmm. if you, if you, if you have the one magma. Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna so, quickly yeah. ask you about that. So it's really magma, cool. Yeah. So you can just throw in the magma, and all of a sudden, usually you have like a, I don't know, a next, a sting on or something under it. Yeah. All of a sudden, you got a four color. Yeah. And you just wipe their combo pieces. Out. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So this has been really good. Yeah. Um, as I said before, though, like I couldn't decide on doing full out on this, full out on this. Mm -hmm. So I think one, at, one to one has worked out fine. For me. Yeah, I like that too. It actually works out. It seems to work out very nicely. Yeah. Uh, and then we just go into our top ten. All right. So two dragon mode. Yep. And one fighter mode. And one fighter. That's mode. all I run. That's it. Yep. That's it. That's it. Focus I, on I your low end. I need to run only two of this, and right. not even any fighter. Okay. But then I'm like, all right. Sometimes like that, that happened the first region was I, uh, the second region was in uh, top cut. And yeah. I was like, you know what? I think I'll take one. <laughs> <laughs> did, did did it did it do any work for you in the end? Did fighter mode feel good in the deck? Uh, so fighter mode. Yeah, it does do work. Sometimes you can't draw into this. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they do have something sticky on board that you just want to bounce. Yeah. And especially with the Chimera one, yeah. where anything they have, all of a sudden, is just bounceable by Fighter Mode. Yeah. So it, it does put in the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess 2 and 2 would be better, would be nice. Yeah. But for what I like, where I just have a heavy low end. Yeah. Uh, I just I just can't find the space for it. Yeah, especially yeah. with all the trainers and options at play. Yeah, just because I want the I want the tools. Yeah. to be able to react and yeah. I want the consistency. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's yeah. that's totally cool. Yeah, because the deck can actually pilot and operate. You know, with just Pale Jamon itself already, anyways. So you don't need the others. And then you know this card is like this card is one of the best cards of this deck. Yeah, just up. Uh, you you just go and you see your swing. Uh, you go into your tail jump, mm -hmm. and then you go into this and just reset. Yeah. And especially with other cards, with the amount of memory games you can get with the Davis and Kens, yeah. or the Hammer Sparks, or the HP Beats, or whatever, then like stuff, like this is just, this is something godly. Gotcha. Nice. <laughs> and then for the Tamers, I play three of this, and three of this. <laughs> so. I don't run any memes. I know people are running memes. I don't really like meme. You just mm. play it and then it really does nothing for you. Yeah. Like yeah, sure. You can just you can just uh, tap it yeah. to get out to do another breeding phase. Right. But I'd rather use the data just to draw my combo piece. Again, like searching, being consistent. Yeah. That's what I like too. Yeah. And then uh, the three Davis can. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you don't get Davises. Your Davis can still at least buffer some memory for you. Yeah. And then just because, and then just its ability to be able to just respan yeah. your dual colors when yeah. you go into them. Yeah. It's just you're super good. Yeah, in the late game, it's just absolute monster, right? Yeah. You get to respan and yeah, exactly. it's, it's good. And it's also, as I said before, if you play like um, like say your opponent, your opponent's playing the yellow hybrids and granted, and hopefully yeah. your security doesn't have any options, mm -hmm. you could just consistently swing into their buffed up Digimans mm -hmm. and then just keep restanding with your Lydras. Oh. Very nice. Okay. And then for the options, I'll play three hammer sparks. Three hammer sparks. And the one ice wall. And the one ice wall. I think this, this is just fine. Mm -hmm. I think four hammer sparks is a bit too much. Then there's no okay. space. Mm -hmm. But I think three is okay. Three is okay, and yeah. And the ice wall just to stop them from doing, from hopefully killing you. Yep. And then obviously, 
as long as granted they don't have a memory blocker on field, yeah. Just being able to get some memory off on swing, yeah. It's just it just ends games like yeah. that. Yeah, the best defensive card to yeah. buy yourself another extra turn. We went two mega deaths. Mega deaths, yep. Uh, we don't really have much to deal with, like mm -hmm. uh, besides the fighter mode. Yeah. And the Pildra. Yeah. And the Dino Beat, which I guess suspends them. Mm -hmm. Like in terms of options, we can't really deal with our board. The big old big. Yeah. They have a big DP monster. Yeah. So this is this is the one card we use to go that's game breaking for sure. Uh, like this is a very important card. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, Yumich for running three. Yeah. I just don't have space for three, so yeah. I think it's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two is pretty much the standard, I'd say, as well. And we just, and most, one of the most <laughs> options in the deck. Reason why, there's a reason why it's banned. Wombo combo, right? Wombo combo. <laughs> this sets up so many counter, combos for you, it's just insane. Yeah. Like, like you, you, if you can, you preferably want to win this, always. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I run the one blue memory boost. Blue memory boost, right. Uh, I just want more consistency, uh, consistency. Mm -hmm. so I just want to play an option that lets me draw more, uh, search, search for more for blue blue yeah. gotcha. and then and popping then, the and then, uh, the memory gain afterwards is also pretty nice. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Nice. nice. Well, Dan, thank you so much. Any other shout outs or quick remarks you want to say? Uh, I don't know, this is a pretty good beat, right? Regionals. Uh, just, uh, uh, good jobs on all my opponents mm -hmm. uh, for uh, doing how well they did too. Mm -hmm. I know, and then I love losing in finals with Jose. Yeah, like, it is what it is. It was a good match though, was it? I mean, the first game was I. <laughs> You know, when you get judged, when you get deck checked by judges, sometimes mm -hmm. they curse you, and then all of a sudden you break. Although, although it was a pretty good day, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad with how I did. Nice. And like I said before, also shout out to our friend Jackson Chong. Yeah. Because he also plays 52 with the master mod. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Very, very yeah. nice. Awesome. Awesome. So, one last question. Are you a blue player now? I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> Just so you guys know, Dan used to play a lot of purple, a lot of yellow. You know, waifu decks are his thing. Now, um, what happened? <laughs> I mean, it, it wins games, right? It wins, it wins games. games and it wins faster. So I think that's what I liked about this deck a lot. Yeah. Just to be able to play, like, because obviously, sometimes you're going to play a yellow highway, you're going to play a Beer Star, you're going to play a Mastermind. Yeah. And sometimes they'll have the options and security. Yeah. But like, it is what it is. Yeah. But any other times, like, you just have to go for it. Yeah. It feels good, right? Because you always feel like you're doing something, you know, it feels like you're actually progressing and playing and it doesn't take too long and it's not daunting at all, right? Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you so much again, Dan. Congratulations thank you. Thank securing you. your invitational to nationals. So we'll be seeing you there, right? <laughs> all right, then. All right, take it easy. That will conclude for the 6th place Imperial deck by Dan Vong for today. If you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please give it a like. If you have any suggestions, recommendations, or questions, be sure to share it with everyone in the comments down below. Once again, huge shout outs to Dan for sharing his experience and perspectives from a different Imperial player. And with that being said, we got more Digimon videos and content coming out real soon. So be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. This is about signing.